Hello, wonderful sons and daughters of the Most High God. Good evening to you all. I welcome you all in God's presence tonight again. Pastor Chukwemeka Namdi and my name's the son to our father, Bishop Michael Fable. I believe you had a peaceful outing in your activities today. And I believe you've sent the links out, the Zoom WebNet link and probably the YouTube link. So let's get set because the Lord would fight our battles today. Amen. God bless you. Can we start by uh, acknowledging the presence of the Spirit of God in our midst? Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you for this moment. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified. Thank you for your sons and daughters. Thank you for the privilege again for us to assemble in your presence today to receive blessings in your presence. Thank you, Lord, all the glory, all the honor, all the praise and power and majesty be ascribed unto thee. Father, we give you all the glory. We magnify you. We exalt you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. In Yahweh Yeshua, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Child of God, as, as we always know the procedure in God's presence to give him thanks, we're going to open our mouth and begin to thank him for the fair weather the Lord has given to you, you and your family, your loved ones. Let's begin to thank him for fair weather. Father, thank you for fair weather, fair spiritual weather. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Blessed be your name for fair weather. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we we'll pray. Amen. Can we begin to thank him for the past blessings, the past miracles? He has shown us in time past. Let's appreciate him for the past miracles. Open your mouth and thank him. For God has been faithful to you and your family. Very, very certainly. Thank him for that purpose. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for the past miracles he's done for you and your family. Give him glory for the past blessings. Appreciate him for the past miracles. Amen. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify him in the name of Jesus. David says, Psalm 66, verse 12, Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou brought all, broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth had spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. Will, I will offer bullocks with ghosts. Come and see. Wow. He said, Come and see, all ye that fear God. And I will declare what he had done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. There is nothing that God loved like one that showed gratitude. One of the secrets of David's greatness was ability to remember the goodness, the faithfulness, the miracles of yesterday. One of the major problems God had with the Israelites was that the Israelites are, are, are the Israelites forget the good of yesterday in the shortest moment when they encounter a new challenge. They forget the good that God did for them. Look at what Psalm 106 verse 10. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them. And redeem them from the hand of the enemy and the waters covered their enemies there was not one of them left then believed they his words they sang his praise look at the Israelites this was the major problem God had with them and today a lot of people are repeating that tendency minus you who is hearing me then believe they his words they sang his praise verse 12 verse 13 they soon forgot his works. They, they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They soon forget. They sang his praise. When God blessed them today, God is good, God is no man. The next moment they have challenge, they forget the God of the blessing of yesterday. So this is a major problem God had with the Israelites. And this was the major secret of David. David does not waste a second to say thank you. 
Psalm 100. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving, into his court with praise. Amen. Thanksgiving. The Christians are not good in thanksgiving. The Christians are good in murmuring. In Numbers chapter 14, verse 26 to 34, the journey of the Israelites ought to take them 40 days. God deliberately extended it for 40 solid years because of the sin of murmuring. What the Christians put more attachment to, that is sin, fornication, adultery, and robbery, going to native doctor. But the Christians don't bother about the sin of lying, the sin of murmuring. God hates the sin of murmuring. In Psalm 26, verse 7, he said, and verse, 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 Psalm, 20, Psalm 26, verse 7, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works, that I may publish, David said in Psalm 26, verse 7, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, that I may publish. Child of God, if you learn the art of gratitude, even when you fall, develop a matured mind to say thank you. God will convert that you're falling to lifting up. So open your mouth, shout grace seven times, and begin to thank God for the miracles He did for you yesterday. Years. The miracle He did for you 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 10 years ago, 6 months ago, 24 hours ago, a moment ago. Begin to give Him grace seven times, one to go. Grace, 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 grace of the Lord. Begin to give Him thanks. Father, thank you for your miracles of yesterday. Years. Thank you for your faithfulness, your kindness. Spirit of God, we appreciate you. We magnify you. Take all the glory. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. Join me. While I was singing that song, the Spirit of God dropped this song in my, in my heart. Let's worship God with it. Be magnified. Be magnified. Be magnified in your heavens. Be magnified in your earth. Be magnified in this temple, Yeshua, Jesus, be thou magnified. All power, all honor to you, Holy Father, we worship you. Savior Jesus, our Savior, Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you for fire. Worship song, we worship the Lord with this song, child of God. For fire. All glory, all honor. Can you lift up that hand to the Lord? To you, all glory once again. All glory, all honor, all power to you, Holy Father, we worship you. Blessed Jesus, our Savior, Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you for fire. For fire. Amen. Father, thank you for accepting our worship. We give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Yahweh Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Child of God, tonight prayer dimension will flow on the prayer. I title the prayer point of tonight, of today fellowship. Today episode is Battle of Swords. Battle of Swords. I'm going to roll out some scriptures, then we'll flow with the prayer point. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Judges, the book of Judges. Follow me to book of Judges. Judges chapter 7, verse 19. Judges chapter 7, verse 19, I read. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. 
Hosanna in the highest. Judges chapter 7 verse 19. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle in the beginning of the middle watch that's 12 midnight and they had they had bed newly set and they had bed newly set the watch and they blew the trumpet and break the pitches pitchers that were in their hands and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow without and they cried the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Amen. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp, and all the hosts ran and cried and, fe and fled. And the three hundred blew trumpet, and the Lord said, and swore the guest his fellow, even throughout all the hosts. And the hosts fled to Beshita in Zezira, and to the border of Abiemi. Hola unto Tabar. He said, The Lord said every man's word. Immediately Gideon and the 300 men blew the trumpet. They shouted, The sword of the Lord and the sword of Gideon. God himself set the sword of the enemies of the Jude, of the tribe of Judah against themselves. Now, tonight, we're going to handle your spiritual sword. There's a lot of future of God that your spiritual sword has been taken away. A true child of God have a spiritual sword. The Bible says in Psalm 149 verse 6, let the praise, let the high praise of God be in your mouth and a two-edged sword in your right hand. Amen. Tonight, your right hand, there is a mystery of your right hand connected to the right hand of God. The spiritual warfare determined in the sword that God put in your right hand. So what the enemy do is to remove the sword. Or I, 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 I handled the deliverance of a man who told me how God gave him a sword in his right hand. And he was fighting and the enemy was able to take over the sword from his right hand. Every true child of God have a sword in your right hand. Tonight, what God will do tonight, your spiritual sword in your right hand, the two-edged sword of God in your right hand, the Spirit of the Lord will recover it and restore it. And those of you that your sword have lost strength, the Spirit of God will release anointing in your spiritual, in your spiritual sword. And after tonight's meeting, you will record a mighty breakthrough in the spirit realm. Amen. Hallelujah. In, in Psalm 134 verse 1 to 3, Psalm 134, I just want to lay the preamble, then we'll move into the prayers. Psalm 134, how does your spiritual sword in your right hand be empowered and activated with the anointing of God? By constant worship, by constant praise. Psalm 134, behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which, be, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands. In the sanctuary and bless the Lord. To bless God means to worship. To bless God means to sing praise. To dance. To thank Him. Sp significantly, they ha your hand from time to time ought to lift up to worship God, to praise God. The mystery of lifting up hand in time of worship or praise is to receive spiritual connectivity. God say in Psalm 73 23. Psalm 73, I'm not teaching our Father, my Father will come. To explode us with knowledge. I just want to lay preamble with this scripture. Then we'll move into the prayer. Psalm 23. Amen. Verse Psalm 73, 23. says, Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding my holding me by my right hand. Thou have holding me by my right hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what the sword of God in your right hand does is to the sword of God in your right hand. It, what it does is to is to is to scatter the weapons of the enemy. Psalm Isaiah 44, verse 25. Isaiah 44, 24, that frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth turned wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. That frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men to foolishness. Amen. God Almighty, what the sword of God in your right hand does is to is to is to frustrate Job 22 to frustrate Job 22 verse 11. Job 22 11, he said, "Thy Job 22 verse verse Job 22 verse 11." He said, "O darkness that thou cannot see, which said." 
Job chapter 22 verse 11. So what the Lord God Almighty will do tonight is to scatter every demonic hand when you stop worshipping and stop praising God. In Psalm 89 verse 42 to 43, he said, And God turned your sword into the right hand of the enemy. When you stop worshipping God and praising God, there is a spiritual sword that God Almighty put in your hand. Amen. It is that sword. The enemy have their sword. Jesus have his sword. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8, he said, Whom that wicked man whom the Lord shall slay by the sword of his mouth. In Revelation chapter 19, verse 15, whom the Lord shall slay by the sword, the spiritual sword in his mouth. So we are going to pray now. Let's let's because of time, let's move into the prayer. I guarantee you tonight, as many of you that your spiritual sword has been taken away by the enemy, by the anointing of that flow from this altar, the altar of my spiritual father, Apostle Michael Fable. The Lord, as you pray this prayer, the Lord will go in the realm to recover the sword of his vengeance in your right hand. Amen. According to that, uh, Judges chapter 7, verse 19, Gideon pray, the sword of the Lord, there are three swords, the sword of God, the sword of your spiritual father, and your own sword. So the significance of spiritual warfare, the sword of the Lord vengeance, the sword of God, of my, the sword of my spiritual father, Apostle Mike, and the sword of Pastor Chukwemeka, what happens in the camp of your enemies? The sword that the enemy gather to fight you, their sword will turn to begin to kill themselves. So tonight is battle of sword against sword. The sword of the enemy will turn against the same to slay the enemy. Prayer point number one, you are going to lift up your right hand. And plead the blood of Jesus seven times, one to go. The blood of Yahweh Yeshua, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Yahweh Yeshua, the blood of Yahweh Yeshua, the blood of Yahweh Yeshua, in the name of Yahweh. Pray this way after me. Say, Oh God, my Father, hold my right hand by your right hand. Open your mouth and pray that prayer now. Say, Oh God, my Father, hold my right hand by your right hand tonight. Pray that prayer, child of God. Hold my right hand by your right hand. I lift up my right hand. Hold my right hand by your right hand. Father, I declare, Lord, that your mercy, say by your mercy, O God, hold my right hand by your right hand. Let my right hand be connected to your right hand. Pray that prayer, child of God. Father, I declare that your mercy will connect the right hand of your children to your right hand tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Yahweh, Yeshua, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. The next prayer point, we're going to be praying. You're going to be saying, O God, my Father, let your mercy strengthen my spiritual right hand. Amen. Oh God, my Father, let your mercy strengthen my spiritual right hand. David say in Psalm 8, 8, 8, Psalm 118 verse 14, he said, God is my, is my song and my strength. God is my song and my strength. In 1 Samuel chapter, chapter 15 verse 29, the Bible say in verse 29, he said, and the strength of Israel, the strength of Israel, the strength of God is significant to your right hand. Because of the two-edged sword. A true child of God, there is a two-edged sword in your right hand. Now, when you stop praising God, which my father and the Lord has been teaching us. You know, last episode, he read the to 8, verse 47 to 48. Because you do not serve God in joyfulness of heart and gladness of heart. You will serve your enemy in penury, in curse, in death, in blah, 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 etc. So, the, the, the yastic for the two-edged sword of God in your right hand to be active is when your mouth is constantly praising God. When your mouth is not murmuring like the Israelites. It doesn't matter the challenge you encounter. You use, you need knowledge, which is why he gives this teaching. You cannot do without knowledge. So if you cannot do without knowledge, you cannot exempt yourself from teaching. It is teaching that makes you have knowledge. It is knowledge that multiplies grace upon you. So praise, which is by knowledge, is what empowers the, the two edges of God in your right hand. So once your mouth stop praising God, your two-edged sword will be hijacked by the enemy. But tonight, what God will do tonight is that your two spiritual edges sword in your right hand that God gave you will be restored back to you. So you're going to shout mercy seven times and say, Oh God, my Father, let your strength, let your strength empower my right hand by your mercy. Can you shout mercy seven times want to go? Mercy, 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 mercy of the Lord. Lift up that your right hand. Say, Oh God, my Father, let your strength let your strength empower my spiritual right hand. Pray that prayer now. Let your strength empower my spiritual right hand by your mercy. Father, I declare that your strength, 
Lord descend according to first Samuel 15 29 the strength of Israel does not sleep Lord I declare your strength to possess the right hand of this your son this your daughter that that your right hand I prophesy from this altar that the strength of God will connect your right hand right now that tonight your right hand will slay every enemy that is fighting your glory fighting your destiny in the mighty name of Yahweh Yeshua we are prayed amen hear me every man of God in the Bible have a sword in their right hand somewhere had a sword when Saul failed to King King Agag somewhere took a sword if it is in our contemporary time they say ah, this pastor is a demonic is a is wicked somewhere carry sword Saul could not slay King Agag the king of Amalekites somewhere carry sword and slaughtered him amen Joshua has sword Abraham has sword every man of God in the Bible has David has sword so a child of God as a born again child of God as a Christian there is a sword of God in your right hand the two edged sword of God it is that sword that you use to fight spiritual battle amen the next prayer point oh say say after me oh God my father by your mighty hand I decree that your mercy delivered me from the wicked hands of the enemies by your mighty hand I decree that your mercy deliver me from the wicked hands of the enemy open your mouth and pray that for your child of God say oh God my father by your mighty hand I decree that your that I decree I decree that your mercy deliver me from the mighty hand of the enemy pray that prayer now father i declare that by your mighty hand let your sons and daughters be delivered from the mighty hands of the enemy according to judges chapter 6 verse 8 to 9 slash verse 13 lord god almighty i declare that your mercy deliver your sons and daughters deliver their wealth their riches their fortunes their glory their family their destinies from the mighty hand of the wicked father let your mighty hand by your mercy deliver us tonight deliver your children deliver your children thank you holy spirit blessed be your holy name in the wonder working name of Yahweh Yeshua, we are praying. Amen. You are going to shout mercy seven times. Want to go? Mercy, 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 mercy of the Lord. Say after me, O oh God, my Father, I command the wicked sword of the satanic enemies against me to turn against themselves and destroy themselves. Let me repeat the prayer point. Say, O oh God, my Father, I command the wicked swords of the satanic enemies against my life to turn against themselves and destroy themselves shall mercy seven times i pray prayer that one want to go mercy 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 of the lord oh god my father i command the evil sword the wicked sword of the of the enemy to turn and destroy themselves every sword that satan his cohorts have stretched forth against your sons and daughters i decree by the anointing of the holy ghost i decree that their sword reverse to destroy themselves that weapon with which the manufacturer to destroy this your son this your daughter that is at the sound of my voice holy ghost by your mercy let the weapon of the enemy let their sword turn against themselves let their sword destroy them as many that manufacture evil sword to use it against your marriage against your destiny against your glory i decree by the glory by the anointing in this altar i decree tonight that their sword will turn to slay them their sword will slaughter them as many that have projected their evil sword against you i decree in the name of yahweh yeshua let their sword slay them tonight slay them in the mighty name of the holy ghost we are praying amen can you say after me say oh god my father by your mighty right hand upon my right hand i break in pieces every dragonic head that swallowed my seven glories my wealth my riches in jesus christ's name say oh god my father by your mighty right hand upon my right hand lift up your right hand as you pray by your by your mighty right hand upon my right hand i break in pieces every dragonic head that swallowed my seven glory shout the blood of jesus seven times i pray this prayer child of god blood of yahweh yeshua blood of yahweh yeshua blood of yeshua blood of yeshua blood of yeshua blood of yeshua say oh god my father by your mighty by your mighty right hand upon my right hand 
I break in pieces every head of a dragon that swallow my seven glory. Every dragonic head, every leviathan that swallow your, your seven glory. I, by the mighty hand of God upon my right hand right now as a servant of the living God, I decree that the head of the dragon leviathan that swallow your seven glory be breaking right now in pieces. In the name of Yahweh Yeshua, Job 20 verse 15, the word of God say that Leviathan the dragon has swallowed your riches, but God shall cast it out of his belly. Psalm 74 verse 13, 14, he said, and God shall break the head of Leviathan. I decree tonight by the mighty right hand of God upon your right hand, that the head of Leviathan, the dragon that swallow wet and riches, be broken in pieces. And I decree, Psalm 107 verse 20, that he sent his word, his word heal you and deliver you. I decree by the word of God, your wet and riches is delivered from the ocean, from the belly of the dragon, your seven glory. Begin to pray, say, oh God my father, by your mercy, I rescue my seven glory from the belly of the dragon. I rescue my wealth, my riches, my money. Begin to pray. The dragon that swallow my seven glory. I break your head by the mighty right hand of God upon my right hand. Begin to pray that prayer, child of God. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In the wonder working name of Yahweh Yeshua, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to pray next prayer point. Say, Oh God, my Father, by the mighty, by the mighty power of your right hand, upon my right hand i destroy every wicked altar attacking my head attacking my glory attacking my destiny attacking my blessing attacking my family let me repeat, repeat the prayer point pray this prayer son of god daughter of christ say oh god my father by the mighty hand by the mighty power of your right hand upon my right hand i destroy every wicked altar attacking everything that is attackable Shout the blood of Jesus seven times and pray this prayer. I want to go. The blood of Yahweh Yeshua. The blood of Yahweh Yeshua. The blood of Yahweh Yeshua. The blood of Yeshua. The blood of Yeshua. The blood of Yeshua. Say, Oh God, my Father, by your mighty power of by your by the mighty power of your right hand upon my right hand, I I destroy every satanic altar, demonic altar, attacking the destiny of your sons and daughters. From this altar, I release the seven thunder of God by the mighty power of the right hand of God upon my right hand. I prophesy every satanic marine witchcraft or cultic demonic altar attacking your glory your family your destiny i command that altar to be smashed in pieces i decree that that altar be broken in pieces right now in the wonder working name of yahweh yeshua we are praying amen can you say thank you yeshua child of god in zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 to 21 i read child of god follow me now then lifted i up my eyes and saw and behold four horns and i said unto the angel that talked with me what be this and he answered me these are the horns which have scattered judah israel and jerusalem so there is a evil horn fighting the praise of god in your life hallelujah there's an evil horn fighting the praise of god in your life there's a horn fighting god's praise in your life Look at Isaiah 43 verse 7. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Verse 23. Isaiah 43. Look at what God says. Thou hast not... Verse... Verse... Um, verse 21. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. God formed you to show forth his praise. So you are the praise of God personified. So Zechariah 1 verse 18, 18 verse 19. He said, Zechariah chapter 1 verse 19. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be thee? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah. Judah is praise. Genesis 29 verse 34. So you are the praise of God. A, a true child of God is the praise of God. So there is four demonic horns. That is fighting the praise of God in your life. That you will not praise God. You are going to lift up your right hand. And shout the blood of Jesus seven times. And begin to invoke the capital. Look at verse 20. He said, And the Lord showed me four carpenters of heaven. Then said I, What come this to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come. The four carpenters came to, came to fray them. To cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah, to scatter it. Amen. 
So there are demonic horns fighting your family, fighting the glory of your family, the greatness of your family, the wealth of your family, fighting your destiny. You are going to call the blood of Jesus seven times. Every ancient horn, every satanic horn, marine horn, witchcraft horn, the demonic horn that is suppressing your destiny that you will not manifest. Blood of Jesus seven times. One, two, go. The blood of Yahweh Yeshua, the blood of Yahweh, the blood of Yahweh, the blood of Yahweh, the blood of Yahweh. Release the hammer of the word of God to break in pieces. Every demonic horn that is suppressing the praise of God in your life, suppressing your seven glory. Say, I break it in pieces by the hammer of God's word. I decree you that is at the sound of my voice i release the hammer of the word of god to break every ancient horn ancestral horn that is fighting your seven glory fighting your family fighting your womb fighting your wealth your destiny i decree tonight that the hammer of the word of god by the mercy of god break that horn in pieces smash that horn every demonic horn fighting you that you will not manifest i declare that that horn be broken in pieces right now in the wonder working name of yahweh yeshua we are prayed you are going to decree that the sword of the enemy every wicked sword that the enemy projected against you you are going to command that sword to return back to sender every sword of of downcastedness sword of sudden death untimely death mysterious death sometimes they go in uh yeah 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 2000 i was in a revelation a somebody was pursuing me he threw a sword on me the sword landed on my leg a child of God have a spiritual matter. The Bible call it the breastplate of righteousness. The sword landed on my back leg and did kind and fell on the ground. You are going to command every arrow, every sword that the enemy have thrown against you. You are going to command them to return back to the sender. Shout the name of Jesus Christ seven times, one to go. In the name of Yahweh Yeshua. In the name of Yahweh Yeshua. In the name of Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh. In the mighty name of Yahweh. I command every demonic arrow, demonic sword projected against this sword and daughters of God to return back to the sender tonight under the grace of my spiritual father God servant apostle Michael Fable I decree that every sword that they may be projected against you every sword projected to make you to miscarry that pregnancy every sword projected to make you to miscarry that contract to miscarry your promotion to miscarry the day of your blessing I decree from this altar tonight that the mercy of God reverse that evil sword I command the evil sword to return to the ascender to destroy the ascender in the wonder working name of Yahweh Yeshua we have prayed Amen thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord Yeshua Lord we magnify you we give you all the glory we give you all the praise you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be exalted child of God you are going to pray this prayer right now the word of God say in Exodus chapter 4 look at what God told Moses Exodus chapter 4 verse 12 now therefore go and I will be with, with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say and he said oh my Lord send I pray thee by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. When he see thee, he will be glad in his heart. Hallelujah. Psalm 119. Follow me to Psalm 119. Amen. When God told Moses, when Aaron shall see Moses, Aaron shall be glad. Meaning God prepared the heart of Aaron ahead of time he told Moses. Psalm 119 verse, verse 71. Psalm 119 verse uh, 74. He said, They that fear thee will be glad when they see me because i have hoped in thy word you are going to pray say oh god my father all the human beings you have ordained to bless me lord put it in their heart that when they see me they, their spirit will be in agreement with my spirit put it in their heart that when they see me they will they will, they will give me reception they will be in agreement with me they will be glad to meet me god told moses when Aaron shall see you Aaron shall be glad David say in Psalm 119 verse 174, he say, And when they that fear God shall see him, David, they shall be glad with him. So there is a particular human being, God that predestined to walk in agreement with you. Tonight, they, as we pray this prayer, the Lord will fish them out. The Lord will locate them for you. This month of June, this week, the remaining day of this week, today is will be entering Saturday, 
few minutes, few minutes from now, the Lord will locate them. Tomorrow, that man will call your call, call your phone number. Somebody will call your phone number that I forgot to you for a very long time as a result of this prayer point. Can you shout joy seven times and pray one to go? Joy, 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 joy of the Lord. Say, oh God, my Father, all those men and women that you are predestined that they will walk in agreement with me, that they will favor me. Lord, as I wake tomorrow morning, as I round up the days of the remaining days of June, the remaining months of this year, Father, locate, order the step of those you are predestined to favor me. Those who are predestined to help me, when they see me, they will be in, in agreement with me. They will fall in love with me. Their spirit will agree with my spirit. They will be glad with me. Begin to pray that prayer now. I pray, I pray for you at the sound of my voice. That man, that woman, God, that will then in that company, you that is going for employment, you that is going for interview, I decree that the mercy of God will locate one man or woman that will be in agreement with you in the name of the Holy Ghost. In that company where you work, in that your area, I declare in your family, in your nation where you live, the Lord will raise a man that God will possess his heart to interpret your dream. In the mighty name of Yahweh Yeshua, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord God is omnipotent remnant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God is omnipotent remnant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God is omnipotent remnant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God is omnipotent renet. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. In the book of First King, I've not left the 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 deliverance of restoration of your spiritual sword. First King, let me show you another proof that you have a, a spiritual sword. First King chapter nineteen. First King nineteen, verse. First King nineteen fifteen to seventeen, and the Lord said unto him, Go and return on and go return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when thou comest, anoint Hazel to be king over Syria, and Jehu the son of Nimshi shall thou anoint to be king over Israel, and Elisha the son of Shaphat of Abel Mehoha Abel Mehola shall thou uh, shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room verse 17 and it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of his zeal shall jehu slay and him that this escaped the sword of jehu shall elisha slay so there is this is a proof that you have a spiritual sword you are going to declare oh god my father every enemy attacking my head attacking my life lord your sword destroy them tonight. The sword of my spiritual father, Apostle Michael Faye, will destroy them tonight. And my own sword, they will not escape your sword. They will not escape the sword of my spiritual father. They will not escape my own sword. Shout joy seven times and pray that prayer, child of God. Joy, 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 joy of the Lord. I prophesy tonight, every demonic occultic marine which have demonic animal attacking the sons and daughters of God. I speak over your life tonight that those animals, those enemies who shall not escape the sword of God's vengeance. They shall not escape the sword of God's servant, Apostle Michael Fable. They shall not escape the sword of these sons and daughters of God. Tonight, in your dream, the sword the Lord put in your hand will slay that enemy. The Lord will cut off the head of your enemy in the wonder working name of Jesus. Let me give you another proof that there is a prophetic destiny that your right hand will be in the neck of your enemy. Psalm 18 verse 40. He said, verse 39, For thou hast guided me with strength. That strength is in your right hand. That is the strength of the Lord. Unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Verse 40. Thou hast also given me the next, oh my, 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 my. Come on. Look at what God said. Isaiah 18 verse 40. Thou hast also given me the next, Next is plural, not singular. Meaning, you are predestined to use the head of the enemy for pepper soup. Tonight, every spiritual animal. Some years ago, I was in a revelation. The Lord showed me a lot of snakes and I used my sword. I was cutting off their heads. I was slaughtering them. 
Amen. Slaughtering them. Tonight, the strength that the enemy, the sword God to the enemy took away from you shall be restored tonight. Verse, verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. You are going to lift up your voice and shout hallowed be thy name seven times and begin to scut off he said by the sword of the lord in my right hand the sword of my spiritual father and the sword of you call your name Pashikwemeka, i cut off the head of every enemy attacking me every spiritual enemy every human enemy i behave them i behave them shout hallowed be thy name seven times one two go hallowed be thy name 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 Father, I stand, I hide under the grace of your servant, my father, Apostle Mike. I prophesy that your two-edged sword will slay and cut off the head of every enemies of these your sons and daughters. Every demonic animal that Satan incarnate, that demons incarnate, to attack them, to swallow their word, to divert their glory, to make them miscarry their baby. Holy Ghost, I decree tonight that your two-edged sword, the sword of your servant, Apostle Mike, and the sword of your servant, Pachuko Mecca, slay off the enemies of your son. Tonight, as you sleep, the, this prayer will have effect in your dream tonight. You will wake up tomorrow morning victorious. Every enemy that have been attacking you, human enemy, spiritual enemy, I decree, I judge them tonight that the sword of God's vengeance slay them. In the mighty name of Yahweh Yeshua, you are going to begin to claim the favor of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You are going to begin to claim favor. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Proverbs 16, verse 3. Amen. He said, Commit thy works unto the Lord. Proverbs 16, verse 6. He said, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from. Men depart. Proverbs chapter. Proverbs chapter 3, sorry, child of God. Proverbs chapter 3. The next prayer point now is a prayer of favor. Then we'll round up there. Prayer, uh, Proverbs 3, verse, verse, verse uh, 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them upon thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. Verse 4. He says, So shall thou find favor. So mercy is spiritual favor. Amen. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God. In Luke chapter 2, verse 40. And verse 52 he said and the grace of god was upon jesus and god jesus obtained favor from god and from men you are going to shout mercy 21 times and begin to claim and begin to prophesy the favor of god in your womb hear me pregnancy is because of favor breakthrough is because of favor passing exam is because of favor mercy 21 time one to go mercy of the lord 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 mercy 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 of the lord begin to declare the favor of god upon you apostle paul say in second corinthians 14 verse chapter 4 verse 13 he said god spoke he came to pass and we also speak it come to pass in genesis chapter 1 the bible say and god said nine times no six times god said and it came to pass god created creation by his spoken word now begin to declare i am favor begin to declare the favor of god is upon my forehead the favor of god upon my academies the favor in my marriage the favor in my womb the favor in my business begin to prophesy favor mercy is the favor of god begin to declare now declare it that in this battle you are victorious by favor i am victorious by favor i declare the i am declared you are prosperous by favor tonight i declare the favor of god upon your forehead i declare favor in your marriage favor for you to conceive favor upon your body favor in your spirit favor in your soul begin to declare i wear the garment of favor i drink i breathe the breath of favor i walk in the i walk on the i walk on top of favor i walk i speak in the midst of favor begin to declare now begin to declare this is affirmation begin to declare declare that you are victorious that battle you are victorious by favor you are victorious by favor that examination you have passed it by favor begin to declare the favor of god everything is by favor father i declare your favor upon your children tonight I decree that the Holy Ghost will anoint your forehead with favor. That healing, you need favor for healing to take place. I heal you by favor in the name of the Holy Ghost. I declare favor in your business, in your job. Favor. I release favor for your promotion. I decree the month of this month of June, your promotion letter will come out by favor. This month of June, you will be pregnant by favor. This month of June, you will, you, will, you will obtain deliverance by favor. This month of June, you are victorious by favor. I declare that favor shall make everything to work for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Father, we give you all the glory. Join me to worship God with this song. Hallelujah. Our Father, favor follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Favor fall on us. Favor in the morning, afternoon, and night. Spirit of divine favor, hey, favor fall on your children. We declare divine favor in Jesus' name. Can you say, I am favor seven times? God bless you. I love you. Don't go away. Wait for the next section of impartation of knowledge from the oracle of God, the voice of God of this generation. My humble father in the Lord, Bishop Michael Fable. God bless you. Thank you for being here today. All the way to Calvary he went for me, he went for me, Jesus went for me. All the way to Calvary he went for me, he died and set me free.
All the way to Calvary he went for us. He went for us. He went for us. All the way to Calvary he went for us. He died to set us free. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed. I'm blessed in the mighty name of Yeshua. I am not here to speak and teach. I'm here to give you an assignment. But first of all, can I get my welcome? Let me get my distance so that I can receive my welcome. Uh, let me get my welcome quickly. I'm here to give you an assignment. I'll be done in just a few minutes. But you do the assignment. You give glory to God by yourself, all by yourself. Let me see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I get it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love this, man. <laughs> we are waiting for Bishop. <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> all the way to Calvary, he went for us. You're welcome, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my God, the welcome is is landing both on my head and everywhere. Wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Mm. Let's sing it together. All the way to Calvary, he went for us. He went for us. He went for us all the way to Calvary. He went for us. He died to set us free. Say it one more time. All the way to Calvary. He went for us. He went for us. He went for us all the way to Calvary. He went for us. He died to set us free. Now let me ask you one question. Were you able to laugh today? Do you, you smile? Or you're angry with any stuff? No. Like I said, I'm not here to teach. I'm not here to preach. I heard one Patrick was thundering. <laughs> Pato, Pato. That's my boy. I heard when he was just Thunder, Iwa, 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 Iwa. I say, Patrick, take it easy. Take it easy, my boy. <laughs> oh, great woman of God. Thank you. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm here to give an assignment. Can I tell you something? There is something I love about this thing called anointing. It works. <laughs> You know what I'm about anointing? Let me tell you, it works. You smile, it works. You laugh, it works. You play, it works. There, 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 there is, honestly, there is something I don't understand about God. So many things anyway. But one thing, the way he does this thing. Somebody asked me a question and said, Apostle, how does these things work? When you speak, God just do it. When I say, I don't know His grace. <laughs> A servant of God called me and said, Something will go to the mountain and fast for months. Months. God just give you the grace. I come to believe that, honestly, that grace has a lot to do in what we're doing. Like I said, I'm here to give you an, uh, an assignment. And um, that's why I'm here. And this assignment is to solve the problem of somebody. But you are going to do it yourself. Listen closely. Listen closely. And I'll give you the assignment. Wow. I feel so good. There is this song we used to sing. Can you remember it's not by might, it's not by might, it's not by power. Is that okay? By my spirit, says the Lord. Not by might, not by power. This mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. 
This mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. By my spirit, says the Lord. Now listen. It's not by you can pray. Oh, shiba, pa, pa, pa. It's good. I'm not saying it's not. But that is the place of grace. <laughs> the place of grace. Somebody used to say, he said, why is it that, why is it that Apostle of Abu is not, is not serious? Serious? <laughs> Don't even let my father hear that. Because I'm not. This is not by power, nor by might, but by the Spirit of the living God. That does not mean you shouldn't be praying and you shouldn't carry Jim Jim Jim. Of course, you know, I wrote dangerous prayers. So I shouldn't still, I shouldn't be in that level. My level in prayer and others, other things have grown far more than that. But that is the prayer for the season, the dangerous prayers. But I'm going to show you one more, some other ways. But like I said, an assignment. This assignment does not fail. If you do it well, this assignment cannot fail. When it comes to receiving from God, this assignment cannot fail if you do it very well. I give this assignment to people who have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and kept praying and no result. I give this assignment to people who have been going to church, seeing their pastors, going through all manner of deliverance, doing all manner of work of righteousness or whatever they are called, and at the end, no result. These are the people I give this assignment. I give this assignment to people who say, I have told apostle, you know, I have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I give them this assignment. That is, if I don't speak on my own, or if I don't want to do it myself, I give them this assignment. This assignment cannot fail if you do it correctly. If you do it very well, it cannot fail you. It's something, listen, I'm not asking you whether you're a holy man or righteous man or sinner. Do this. As far as we are here on earth, no man, I repeat, no man has the right or no man can say this person is a sinner or this person is righteous. That's the truth. You know why? Sin is sin. Because even if you are so righteous and you are drilling in one, it's the same thing. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. Have you seen the Lord's goodness? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, O oh, many potent rain. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, O oh, many potent rain. And hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Ihe ni ne ngwere no asigi naka. Hey! Ego ni ne ngwere no asigi naka. Hani ne sigi naka. Hancha sigi naka. Ebe ngwere enyi Jesus. Onye kanga tu e guozo. Let me hear you sing it now. Iheni ne mwere no wasigi naka Yego ni ne mwere no wasigi naka o Arike sigi naka Ndu sigi naka Ebe mwere enyi Jesus Onye kanga tuwe guozo This assignment is something you will do with all seriousness 
the get result. When I will come again, today is Friday. By next Friday, it will be testimony time. And I'm going to let, you're going to send me testimonies. And I'll read it before people. This assignment is this. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Yeah, just not not much. But I just want to build you so everybody listen. All the people that have given this assignment, it has never failed. I discovered it in the early 90s. In the early 90s is when I discovered this assignment. Through one sister called Charity. Her problem, I have prayed, I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing. Nothing. And you know, there is this kind of people in the church that if they're able to come to you, in fact, <laughs> if you're a pastor, you will understand what I'm talking about. You know, you understand what I'm saying. They know you, you know them, you know their, their, their problems. And uh, each time they are on your neck. And uh, maybe even if you're in the church, they are giving you a sign that the, the prayer you pray for them did not work. <laughs> so, 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 when they see you at the bus stop, you know, they say, Pastor, it didn't work. They see you on the way walking, they say, Pastor, it didn't work. I remember one man that happened. I begged God. I said, my father, please, please. This family is troubling me a lot. What is their problem? Just help. You know, I'm not begging you now to answer them. Just answer me. <laughs> Anywhere they see me, they, they remind me that <laughs> I've prayed and prayed and prayed. Nothing is working. And you know, pastors are so frustrated when they pray for you and pray. <laughs> And nothing works. <laughs> so when they see you, you know, even when pastors are trying to do it, say, hey, Money, sir, that is how you sir. I want to remind you that that prayer you pray for me, <laughs> the thing did not work. <laughs> you like to hide. You know, honestly, pastor, the way pastors carry people's problems is it's as if we it's as if we are the ones that cause the problem. I told my boys, I said, guys, we need to apply wisdom in doing this work. <laughs> Sometimes it's as if we are the one that caused this problem on these people. So, you know, so I prayed, and uh, my father opened my eyes. Said, he said, go and ask that man in his in in, in his family that is a woman that they sold. They sold a woman. That woman was pounding. And they came and carried her. They sold her. That that woman cost the family. And that is what they are passing through. That all the generations of that family will pass through it. So I called the man and asked him. Say, see, see, see. He said, ah, that his father told him about this thing. And so on and so forth. I said, that's what is happening. But we are going to get it solved. Anyway, that one happened. So this sister that I'm talking about, I prayed and prayed and nothing happened. Nothing happened. I know she's regular in the church. She comes all the time and so on and so forth. Have you ever prayed for people who have no husband and they are very desperate to have husband? They stand before you and say, Pastor, I need my own husband. I say, hey, has he got <laughs> Has he got to, to that level? You know, I remember, I remember the lady that came to me and said, "You said, Daddy, look, I lived the life. I try everything possible. As you can see, age is not telling on me. And uh, now it's October, November, December. Eh? The year will pass by. Is it the way I'm going to continue, man? She complained so." Italy. And I look at her, I tell her, yes, 
October has gone more than half, really. October, this is October, it has gone more than half. We have November and December. You are going to spend that day they call Christmas. You are going to spend it in your own husband's house. Both of you together. That's what is going to happen. I say, go, your case is settled. She looked at me. She didn't even say amen. I said, go. You will spend that day they call Christmas in your own husband's house. What? October has gone more than half. November, then December 25th. To spend it with her husband. No boyfriend, no suitor, no man is coming. How is it going to happen? This God that I'm talking about knows how to make things happen. That's it. If you watch me when I come here to speak to you, I play, I laugh, I just, because I know him. I know him very, very well. The ones he has revealed to me, I hold it, I hold him tight. You know, so, after that she left, December, first week, second week I was in a country and my pastor came with the invitation, wedding invitation of that same lady. She wedded on the 22nd of December, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, four days. She was in her husband's house on the 22nd, married by a reverend gentleman who, who is really doing the work of God Almighty God bless her with that man just a month plus or approximately two months there is nothing that God cannot do I've seen God in action I've seen the power of God Almighty I've seen God turn situations sit to ugly situations that there is no way you can I don't know how to put it there's no way you can to solve the problem but God turn it in a twinkle of an eye very easy for him so this assignment will work for you so this sister I gave her this same assignment and before it completed the number of days she was she has already gone to sleep and there was a knock at her door. Say yes. The day completed the day I gave her. She has already gone to sleep. That means it did not work. But while she was lying down there, there was a knock at the door. So she, she woke up. She slept early. She went to bed early. Not really sleeping. But there was a knock. She woke up. Those days, used to have finance houses. All those finance houses were working in the 90s. And two gentlemen were there. They said, please, we are looking for one man and charity. Say, yes, I'm charity. He said, okay. They gave us a so name. He said, oh, yes, it's my brother who is in the U.S. He said, okay, he sent you some money. You're going to come tomorrow in our finance house in our bank and come and pick it up. Those days in the early 90s, $15,000 was sent to her. That changed her life automatically because she did this assignment. What is this assignment, ladies and gentlemen? If you are hearing my voice and you are ready to do it, let me get an amen. And you are ready to do it. Today is Friday. It starts right now. As I'm here with you, it starts. And it's going to run for seven days. So we start tonight. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. So, we're going to meet on Friday again. God Almighty willing. So starting from now, don't pray to God and ask Him anything. Don't ask anything. Even on Sunday, when you are going to go to your church, when they are praying and say, God, give me, don't, don't join. <clears throat> don't
don't ask anything. If the person conducting prayer say, pray, ask God for this, ask God for that, don't join in doing it. For these seven days, starting from this night as I'm talking to you, don't pray and ask God anything. Two things you'll be doing. You'll be, you'll be praising God, singing for Him, and dancing for Him. You praise Him, you sing, you dance. And have this beautiful countenance of happiness. You must show happiness in you. There must be joy in your heart. Don't ask anything for seven full days. All you're going to be doing is sing for him. Dance for him. Glorify his name. Bow down in worship. Fall down to the ground for him. Just show him that he deserves your praise. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 50, Verse 23, he said, Whoso offered praise glorified me. And to him that ordered his conversation aright will I shew the salvation of God. So this assignment has to do with praising God. Don't ask for anything. Just praise God. Be happy. You dance. Maybe in your room, in your house, dance. You go to church, they are praying, say, okay, ask God for this, ask God for that. Just be praising God. Just be worshipping Him. Just bow down for Him. Just keep on praising. Don't ask one thing. And you do it regularly for seven good days days before you even finish the seven good days that difficult condition in your life will be taken away before you finish the seven days your testimony is there i am not talking of i'm not talking of secret testimony i'm not talking of something that you know nobody will see physical testimonies the most difficult problems in your life will be taken away. Is this sickness? God will heal you. No matter what it is, God will heal you. Don't show any bad countenance. Just be happy. Just be praising Him. Just give Him glory. Honor Him. Dance for Him. Rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice and be happy. Just that's what you need. Sometimes, sometimes, let, let me tell you, Sometimes if you're doing this kind of, if you're doing this thing that I tell you, you can get some wine with you. You can get some malt, you can get some soft drink, you can get some packet juice, you can just get some beautiful drink that you want to take. You can get chicken, you can get turkey, just get something, just get something. You're taking it, glory be to God, hallelujah, Quah. You are chopping it, you are still singing, you drink. Just be happy. Do this for seven days. Don't mix it with any other thing. No bad feeling. No cursing people. Yeah, you are very stupid. You are this. Uh -uh. Do away with it for seven days. Maybe later you can pick it up. But for now, I'm not even expecting you should pick it up. But just do away. Happy countenance. Just be, just be singing. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. Hey, I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sing. Rejoice. If you know all the beautiful songs, you know. Now listen to me. You may not even know how to sing most of the song. Put in record. Put in uh, your CD. You can get the songs from your phone, put them and play it and dance. Dance it from your heart. Don't don't act it. No, no acting. Be real. Do it from your heart. 
glorify him glorify him just sing it choose the songs that praise God l l listen that is this hallelujah favor follow me hallelujah oh favor follow me favor in the morning afternoon and night spirit of divine favor oh favor follow me i receive divine favor in jesus name i receive divine favor in jesus name the, the the song the rhythm is cool yeah it's cool it is holy it, 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 it is holy in nature it's so cool but it doesn't praise god <laughs> are you surprised it doesn't praise God. It doesn't glorify God. You are asking for favor for yourself. It doesn't honor God. Hallelujah. Oh, favor for me. It's for you. You are asking for favor. <laughs> it doesn't glorify God. Something that glorifies Him. Something that talks about His greatness. Something that talks about the power of this God. Something that magnifies him. That thing that can make, that glorifies him. Do it for seven days. So if you want to select your songs, don't just take like this one I say now. Oh, I have no power of my own. I have no oh, power of my own. I confess to you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. I have no power of my own. What are you talking? Is it praising God? You only saying you don't have power. And of course you don't have. <laughs> you only confess it that you don't have power. So is that one praise? I have no you know some people be saying it they be even be shedding tears I have no power of my own I have no power of my, my friend <laughs> easy easy we know you don't have power put it by your side so it's not all these songs that give glory to God they might be slow but it doesn't honor God. Give him all the glory. It could be hot songs. It could be dancing. Honor him for seven good days. The Lord will show his power. Is somebody humiliating you? Are the enemy surrounding you? Sing this song. Don't pray any other prayer. And you will see the glory of God. This is what Jehoshaphat did. And the three strongest nations of the world those days. Ammon, Moab, and the people of Mount Seir. That gathered to totally wipe them out. The Lord laid ambushment against them and they fall victim. We've seen it happen. Give glory to God. Sing his praises. Honor him and worship him. For these seven days. Like I said. You can get. The wine of your choice. You can get. The fruit juice of your choice. You can get. Soft drink. You can get. Whatever you want. That. Hey. I didn't say go and buy Kai Kai whiskey. <laughs> Because I know some of you say, ah, I love this man. You love who? <laughs> With Kai Kai. I didn't say Kai Kai. <laughs> you know, I want to spell it out. You know, so that you don't 
you don't chuck whiskey finish or kaika the team will be doing say you know that joy will come say, ah, my coffee is a good man of god forget don't get kaika and whiskey and kinkana all those stuff you know there are a lot of non non alcohol fruit juice there are some that contain little just little percentage that those ones are okay maybe the ones they use in communion and all the rest but all these high whiskey man that's not what i say i know what i'm talking about okay so if you get this it could be family all of you gather be praising god if you have bread you can break you can break bread you can take communion sing and praise and dance and fall down for the lord if you are living in a crowded uh, compound or family don't raise your voice do it gently do it gently all i want is let it come from the inner man let this praise come from the inner man let god see really that you are praising him let god see that you are doing this from your heart for seven days it starts this night it starts now that i'm here the moment i'm done with you and i'm gone it starts immediately i said i'm here to give you assignment if you want to read any bible portion to buttress this you can read second chronicle chapter 20 second chronicle chapter 20 start from verse 1 down to the end you see the power of what i'm talking about you see what i'm telling you praise him have they diagnosed that you have one terrible sickness one disease do it because apostle mike said do it Oh, I know you've been singing, let's say, but I've been singing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you've been doing it. Say, oh, me, ah, I'm a praise guy. I praise and dance. Ah, uh -uh. that's not what I'm talking about. Do it because Apostle, his son, said, do it. Jesus was in the boat of Simon Peter, and he told Peter, let down the net. And Peter said, no, sir, it's not this time. We have toiled all through the night and we couldn't catch even one tilapia, not even sungu. Not even one small sungu. <laughs> Do you know the fish called sungu? <laughs> it's in Paracot I saw sungu. One fish that used to used to be used to shine like silver. Very small thing, but it doesn't have any no flesh. Making like this. Sungu. Now listen to me. Peter said to Jesus. We've toiled out through the night and we caught nothing. We normally, the, the, the catch is normally done by night, but now the fishes have gone deep down, so there is nothing we can do. But nevertheless, I love that. I will lay down the net at thy voice. Nevertheless. So you may have been singing and praising and doing all the things. Nevertheless. Do it again because his servant said do it. Because Apostle Mike said do it. And Peter laid down the net and cut a, and cut a draught. It was much that the net began to break. It's not by power nor by might but by the spirit of the living God. Go and praise God and worship him. Bow and dance for him and celebrate you and your family or you alone or whatever number of people you are in a house do it seven good days you will see the glory of god almighty starting from this night testimonies will be coming from day one testimonies will be coming send us a, a whatsapp testimony what's our whatsapp number can you write it down Ready? give it to me here now let me give it to everybody Ome warum ya, ome warum ya. Come on, you will sing and dance. Ome warum ya, ome warum ya. Ihe madapu i meremo, ome warum ya. Let me have the number, son. Be happy, rejoice, dance, praise God. Give suspension and holiday to your problems. Give suspension holidays to all your troubles 
You see the power of the living God. Praise Him. Give Him glory. And you see the wonders that will happen in your life. He will push your enemies back. Listen, <clears throat> church. Let the servants of God hear me. <clears throat> the great men of God. Hear me. If you want God to come down here in this nation or here in this world, organize a one week praise and worship for God Almighty. It, it, listen, I know. <clears throat> Say, we've been doing it. We fill the stadium, we fill this thing. No, it's not that type you're doing. <laughs> that type is when we bring uh, uh, singers to come and shine. No, 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 no. This is selfless praise and worship. Real selfless praise and worship. You, you, we, 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 we do it for God. <clears throat> okay? Our WhatsApp number, our WhatsApp number is this 070. Just write it down. Because you're going to get, write a lot of testimonies. 070. Lest I forget, something just reminded me. If you know anybody that is having a problem, tell that person to join. Call them from this night. <clears throat> Say join. Here in this country and overseas, all over the world, if you know anybody that is having a problem, call them to join in this. They are going to come with the same testimony, whether they listen to me or not. 070. <clears throat> are you there? Then 2500. 2500. Then 2663. 07. Zero two five zero zero two six six three for the testimonies. Glorify him. Make yourself happy. No complaint. No bad countenance. No bad feeling. No quarreling. No cursing. Just the seven days dedicated to. Worshipping God is a holy week unto God. Singing, praising, dancing, glorify Him. Bow down, worship. If you can bow down, if you can fall down, if you can lie down the ground, no matter what you're going to do. Even <clears throat> you're at your workplace. It's not a big thing. You can do. Oh, Dad, I worship you. I give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the best. Lord, you are the best. You are the mightiest. You are the greatest. You are the most powerful. Now when we talk about praising God, it's not all about singing. It's about what you say out of your mouth to the hearing of God. It's not just what you... Not, so, not singing, mostly. Use the words of your mouth and glorify Him. Just say your words and mean it. Mean what you're saying. Seven days. Seven. You will come thanking God. You will come thanking God. No matter what that situation is. Woman. You've been having miscarriages. Or you've never had it at all. It doesn't matter what it is. Within these seven days. Starting from this night. Within these seven days, the Lord will remove whatever is there, whatever is the problem. Are you on that terrible attack? It will go. Just like I said, the men who have the capacity to organize seven days praise worship for God, or many denominations. Let us do it in a way. <clears throat> 
that we can have all the denominations around. If you will stop accusing one as these ones are sin, these ones are um, these ones are orthodox, these ones are living church, these ones are you begin to name all kinds of things. God doesn't give them all those names you gave them. God doesn't give them. Living church and dead church. You alone knows those that are living. You know those that are judged. Man cannot judge any until God does it by himself. How will it be? We get all the denominations represented and we stay and praise God with a loud voice. Not, not minding no, 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 no teaching. Nobody come to teach. All the denominations gather to praise God. All the churches together forget who is sinner and who is righteous. Just come together in one voice and we sing. I tell you the truth. God will take over the problems of this nation. God will come down here on earth and things are going to change. Although he's already in the earth, he has already come started doing a lot of things so ladies and gentlemen god bless you and bless you real good this is the assignment i came to give you i'm going to start my own tonight <laughs> i gave the assignment but i'm starting my own right away i'm just starting my own we'll give him our glory laugh don't let anybody make you angry smile smile you don't pay money for smiling you don't buy it it's in you bring it out give god the glory sometimes you just say hey papa i want to dance for you i want to i, I want to show you my new styles of dance dance for him You'll be so happy within seven days you're gonna get testimony thank you so very much thank you for been with me and listening, you know. Oh, glory be to God. Can somebody send me a closing, just send me a closing message. I heard you and I'm going to do exactly what you say. Yes? Who sent the first message? Just write me a message and say, I heard you and I'm going to do exactly what you said. Let me see the first person that will send me that message. That's the closing message. I heard you. I heard you, Apostle, and I'm going to do exactly what you said. Seven days is my miracle. <laughs> Somebody have hit it. Thank you very much, Daddy. I heard you, and it is done. Oh, my God. This person say it is done. It's not even that I'm going to do. <laughs> Come on, let me have. Who is again? Thank you. This WhatsApp is going to full of testimony i heard you and i have started doing what you said sir immediately oh you've already started jesus i heard you and i'm going to do what you said i heard you and i'm wow <laughs> um glory be to god glory be to god yes it is still pumping in thank you thank you thank you we're starting tonight we're starting tonight we're starting tonight get ready we're about to start stand up with me everybody who want to do it all that want to do this thing that i said stand up with me let us register ourselves before our father then it doesn't stop you from telling your family friends and those far and near even those who are outside the country Please tell them. Let us start here now. Lift up your hands. Begin to worship him. I say worship. Father we worship you. We give you all the glory. Lord God almighty we thank you. We thank you king of kings. You are worthy. You are worthy. There is no God like you. There is no man like you. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. Father I have come to praise you. I have come to honor you. We together. As a family of your children, we have come to glorify your name. Lord God Almighty, you are the greatest. You are greater than the greatest. You are more powerful than the most powerful. 
You're wiser than the wisest. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. Look at the beautiful things you made. You created the beautiful sky. You created the birds that fly in them. Look at the sea. The monsters there. The fish there. Look at the land. All the beautiful vegetations. You alone did all this. You gave me life. You gave my people life. Father, we honor you. We bow before you, great God. We bow before you. We bow before you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you from a clear countenance. From a good heart, we worship you. Come on, continue saying your own. Continue saying your own. Continue. We honor you, Dad. We honor you. King of kings. You are the, you are the king that rules the whole kingdom. The kingdom belongs to you and you are the governor of the nations. You created everything. You created light. You formed darkness. You created good. You created evil. You created the angels, including Satan. You created him. You created everything in the whole universe. You began before the beginning. You are not the beginning. No. You began before the beginning. Before you, there was no beginning. The beginning began from you. You are the God who has no beginning and you don't have an end. The beginning began from you. You created the sun, the moon, the stars. You created the firmament above. You created everything in this universe. Lord God Almighty, you are so good. You are so good, my Father. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no situation that is impossible with you. Receive all the glory. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Do the same. Do the same. Continue. I just gave you an example of what to do. Then, after that, you join it with songs. Join it with songs. Join in with praises. Dance for him. And that's how you do it. It has no end. When you're tired, go do whatever you're doing. You're going to work is okay. But make sure you do it regularly. Not you just come in the morning and say, Father, you are good, you are good, you are good, you are good. And you, you jump out. Then in the night you come and say, Father, you are good, you are good, you are good. You lie down. <laughs> then seven days you write me and say apostle I did it I say father you are good you are good you are good hey that's all I mean. <laughs> oh goodness already look at testimonies everywhere hmm? look at testimonies everywhere my father as many that will hear the voice of your son and do exactly what I told them Lord, no matter what the problem is, no matter what they are passing through, my father, those problems are gone. Solved. Solved. No matter what the problem is, from their health, finance, business, whatever, marriage, whatever. If you can give that young daughter that came in October and said October has gone more than half if you can give her a husband before two months you give her a good husband Lord these things are done within seven days as many that will do this and those they will connect around the world my father whatever be their problem it is solved I stand oh God as your son and your servant and I declare that all their problems are solved you receive all the glory father in Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Yeshua Amen the Lord bless you so see you remember today is Friday by the grace of God I'll be here on Monday and I'll be here on Wednesday and on Friday we wrap it up so I'm still going to continue some things in that area God bless you so see you thank you for your testimonies I know the testimonies are coming already bye bye